Okay, so I found myself with a bunch of family video tapes, uh, that VHS tapes that I wanted to uh, get into a digital format. Um, video tapes do deteriorate over time, so this tape that's inside here uh, will deteriorate over time, and especially we're talking these are going on 20, 30 years old. Um, there's already some deterioration there, but um, I wanted to get these um, onto uh, a format in a digital format. So, um, but the problem I'm having here uh, is that my uh, tapes weren't rewinding all the way. So there's generally two problems. Uh, one could be the tape itself, and this is rewound all the way. So if you have a tape that's rewound all the way, all the tape will be on the uh, this side, the left-hand side, if you're looking at it from the back, um, and there will be none on this side. What I found my tape doing, um, what I found my VCR doing, is it was only rewinding partially. So, have one here. It would go so far, and then it would stop. Um, and so generally, so it would go this far, and then it would stop. So that was an indication to me that it wasn't the tape. It was probably the VCR. Um, some of you, if they just don't rewind at all, what's happening here is the tape on the back, and you can find videos on YouTube about this, I found some, uh, when you, when it goes to rewind, it presses this in, and there's all, these are little gear wheels, and so when you press this in, it releases those gear wheels and allows these to free, because if you hear that, that is that is clicking against the little gear wheels in there. So what's happened is this little lever, when you press it in, it's not opening up and allowing the VCR to spin these. So that could be your problem. This, however, um, I used multiple tapes and noticed it was doing the same thing. So I knew that that wasn't my problem. So let's take a look. This is my, uh, I have a mid 90s Sanyo VCR that I've had put up for, uh, probably over a decade at least. It was in the house for the longest time. Uh, so most of these, don't be afraid. Uh, well, be a little afraid. You know, unplug it first. Um, but most of these have just a cover that's easy to remove. So I've already, this has two screws on either side. And I've already removed those so that I could pull this off easily. So mine's still plugged in. Don't do this, okay? I'm I'm uh, taking my, my uh, life into my own hands here. Um, just to show you how this works, when this goes in, it actually lifts this up, pulls the tape around this head here. That's your head, which, by the way, some of you will want to clean if you've had your VCR up for a long time you want to clean this right there. Make sure it's nice and shiny like that. Um, but you can see that's working fine. And when I put it in, it would play just fine. Problem I was having is it was not rewinding. And it'll try here for a little bit, try to spin. As you probably maybe can see, nothing's spinning here. That is because, in fact, my tape's getting loose here, which is not what I want. So I am going to stop this before it eats my tape. This, by the way, is a tape I don't really care about. Hit eject, and I'll show you, and it's going to eat some of it. Uh, I'll just wind that back in. I'll show you um, how you can get to the belts and fix those. Okay, so some of you... Um, um, this will lift out um, and, and you'll have to find the screws where this lifts out because probably the motor that spins the uh, tape is underneath. I'm lucky with this uh, Sanyo model um, that they have a little compartment underneath. So if I flip this over, I had this metal plate that I've already taken the screws out and this will reveal my motor here um, and as you notice if I spin this um, it's pretty loose and it's not spinning 
consistently, and that's because if you look at this rubber belt, it's very, very loose. And I can basically just take it off. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I looked up uh, rubber belts for cassette players, uh, VCR tapes, and so these pops up. So it comes up with you know a whole bunch of different sizes. Uh, these are these do seem a little thin, so maybe they won't last another thirty years. But I don't really need them to. Hopefully, so let's get the old one which is quite a bit thicker. You know what, I, I, may, I may be able to use two of these together uh, to get this. So I just want to get an approximate size, just something that will go there um, in place. That's pretty close. So I'm going to use two of these together and see if I can uh, make this work. So. I'm probably going to need both hands to do this, so I'm just going to put it around this, and then I'll come right back. Yeah, so now I just, uh, so I put the two, this is two, together, and I put them here, and as you can see, it moves every time I move the motor here, so uh, definitely a lot, lot better. Um, so I think, I hope, that will fix my rewinding problem, um, which, by the way, was also causing my, my tape to get eaten uh, sometimes uh, because it actually does a little bit of a rewind whenever it kicks the tape out. So I'm going to put this um, somewhat back together and uh, stick a tape in there, and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so a moment of truth. I'm going to take this tape that I don't really care about. I'm not really sure I remember what's on it. In here, tape goes around the head, and playing, which you can see my OBS is playing just like I want it to. And let's stop it here. Let's give it a rewind. And looks like it's still slipping. So I'm gonna try the rewind here. So what I found was, although it was playing, uh, rewind was just such high speed that only one band was there, the other had fallen off. And so what I'm going to do is I went down to the next smaller size because I think maybe these are still just a little bit, especially with two of them on there, still a little bit loose. So I'm going to go to the next smallest size and see if that helps. But it was playing just fine. It's just uh, the rewind is such a fast speed uh, that it, it throws a belt. So Okay, so I got the next uh, smaller size on there. They were very close in size, but this one is, you know, it's quite a bit tighter. Um, but still, it's not it's not so tight that they're you know just gonna pop immediately. It's it's pretty good. So let's flip this over and see what happens here. So I'm gonna put this metal piece in place so I don't catch any carpet on there. Um, notice that my tape's still in. Again, not very safety conscious, so don't do this at home. First thing I want to do is I want to play it because that's the important thing, right? So it appears to be playing just fine. It's spinning. So now I want to hit stop and rewind. Okay. So a lot better now. Seems to be rewinding. Let's stop it real quick. Yep, that was the end of the tape. I want to fast forward. Because I want to show you the bottom. 
So just fast forward a couple minutes here. I do want to flip this up and get a look at, now I'm going to hit rewind, look at the bottom, and there it is. Looks like it's rewinding well. Okay, so looks like we've repaired our VCR. So hope that helps you guys. Um, good luck. Get those old family videos uh, off of the VCR tapes before they just deteriorate to the point where they're no good. Thanks. Bye.